Good morning, viewers, and welcome back to the Machete Adventure Channel. Today, um, I'm going to give you a little update on a new land clearing area that I've started on. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what's in there, what's going to go in there, and the progress that's been made. So, let's go. So... <clears throat> If you've been keeping up with what I've been doing, uh, I've been taking section by section and kind of clearing out different areas of the property. And, uh, you know, we're revitalizing and building this homestead. And so, you know, uh, it was about time that we cleared some new ground. And, uh, well, let me show you what what I got started on. This hillside, as you can see, uh, has been cleaned out all the way down pretty far. I would say it's probably, oh, I don't know, maybe 40 yards wide by uh, 50 yards long. Yeah, probably about that. Um, so there isn't much in here that I wanted to keep. Uh, there's a coffee plant or two. Um, there was a lot of bananas. Uh, more bananas than I'm ever going to use. So as you can see, they're actually already growing back. Uh, these were chopped off and they're actually already growing back. So I got to get back out here and get back after this uh, before this starts getting filled in again. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of spray, so you know I'm, I'm I, I do more clearing as far as uh, cutting, uh, ripping, removal. Uh, you know I've got that section over here which is loaded with that dumb cane again, uh, the stuff that's really itchy, it's nasty. Uh, luckily in this area, it's pretty much confined to a area that is you know maybe I don't know 10 yards wide by 20 yards long so but it's really thick in there and it's gonna take a lot of work to get it out and I've got to basically rip it out by hand that's the only way you can get rid of that stuff so we're gonna continue on we're gonna to talk to some chickens today and we're gonna let them out so let's go visit the chickens before we uh, get started on ripping some weeds All right, everybody just went ripping outside. Got down here a little late today. Well, aren't you guys going to come out too? Come on. Where's Molly? Molly's out here somewhere. I think we have a few roosters amongst our hens. Yeah. Yeah. Suspect. 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 Yeah, definitely. Definitely rooster. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, uh, you know, we knew we had a rooster or two. Uh, somewhere along the line, we got a couple chickens from the uh, from an agricultural store and you know what they they uh, <clears throat> they're not females no uh, they're, they're definitely they're definitely males so we we probably have a couple roosters in here that we're gonna have to uh, uh, let's say thin out somewhere along the line um, I'm not sure if we're gonna give them to anybody or if we're just going to, uh, you know, grow them out and make some chicken soup. But <clears throat> there comes the last of the little ones. Everybody's coming out now. Really love these banana leaves. I mean, these chickens just go crazy for them. So does a duck. He loves it too. So they really rip into those bananas. So you can see they've been doing a pretty good job of keeping the uh, <laughs> bananas cut down. 
once in a while I keep a, once in a while I, I take a leaf or two from uh, other areas of the property and bring them in because they, they decimate these pretty good. Um, suspect rooster, he just keeps pecking my feet. But I usually take these and bend them down and then they can, they can get on them easier. Another suspect rooster. What are you hiding in the corner? Huh? What are you up to? Yeah, I, I, I put that fence in there. Because the other day, one of the little ones got behind it got themselves all tangled up so I had to come back and <clears throat> add a little bit more wire mesh there so let's let these guys be and I'm gonna go do some uh, land clearing So what I'm doing here is, uh, you know, I'm basically cutting these dumb cane off and then uh, I'm pulling them down the hillside so that way I can come back with a rake and rake it down and dispose of it in a, a big pile that I have further down. Now this tool might look like a toy, but it's not. It's very sharp and it does the job really, really well. So, uh, you know, like I said, it might look like a toy, but it really isn't. Uh, it's lightweight, it's sharp, and it seems to do a really good job. So uh, this stuff is really nasty. Uh, if you mess with it with your bare hands, like me, uh, it, it's gonna make you itch like crazy. Uh, I'm kind of used to it at this point, but if you experience it yourself, uh, wear gloves. Um, you know, I just, I, I, I really can't stand wearing gloves, uh, so for me, yeah, I put up with some of the itch and the, and the stinging until I can, you know, get my hands washed. And it usually lasts a couple days, believe it or not, uh, the stinging part anyway. Uh, but, you know, overall, uh, I've tried it with gloves, without, and for me, just gloves are, uh, I, I, I just don't like them, uh, you know. But I would highly recommend you wear gloves. And you need to wear some kind of eye protection. Definitely. Uh, sunglasses, safety glasses, uh, because the juice from these uh, dumb cane, if it gets in your eyes, can really mess up your vision. You will be going uh, on a trip to the hospital. Uh, so I have not experienced it in my eyes. Uh, I've been warned about it by uh, several locals. And, uh, you know, I believe them because I've gotten enough on my skin. I've even gotten some in my mouth and <clears throat> made my mouth go numb for several hours. I was just salivating like crazy and I, I tongue swelled up. Uh, it wasn't an emergency situation. Uh, I did do some research on that, but one of the things that they do talk about is if you do get it in your eyes, that's an immediate go to the doctor. So um, hopefully you don't have this on your property. Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of you folks might not be watching from from Puerto Rico 
But if you are watching from Puerto Rico and you do have this on your on your ground, uh, you know, be careful with it. So. So you might be asking, well, what are you clearing this for? What are you gonna put in there? Well, my idea is I'm gonna be putting uh, predominantly fruit trees in this area. Um, you know, I'm not sure exactly everything that's gonna go in here. A couple of them will not be fruit trees. Uh, but <clears throat> once we get to planting, then that'll be in, a, in another video. But let's just say there's gonna be a variety. And, uh, you know, uh, we need more fruit trees on the property. We've got a lot of fruit, per se, on the property, but we definitely need more fruit trees. So we're going we're gonna to diversify. All right, let's take a look at the progress I've made so far. So I started about here, and I've made it up to about here. As you can see, there's an absolute wall of these dumb cane, and then there's vines mixed into it too. So as you can see, I've made it maybe 10 yards. Uh, this has taken me just over an hour. And it's, uh, you know, it's hot. So word to the wise, only bite off what you can chew. You know, hit it every day. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That's what I do, and that's how I get things done. So I'll be out here for maybe about, oh, a couple hours. Today, probably about two, because it's about two hours, because it's really, really hot. Um, you know, I'm sweating really, really bad. And uh, so, you know, about another hour of this, and then uh, I'll rake it down, uh, rake it off the edge, because there is an edge on this. There's a big ravine right here. There's a big ravine that goes down. And I don't really have any plans on clearing that anytime. Um, you know, there's a lot of trees and stuff in place that hold that soil. So I'm not going to go down in there and mess with it. Um, I'm, I'm basically just clearing this slope off. Um, so another thing about this dumb cane is once it's cut off like this, and it's discarded, <clears throat> you know, usually I discard it into a pile or in this case, over the edge into a ravine. It doesn't grow back. I mean, it, it really doesn't. Um, you know, I've tried spraying these things. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of spray, but I have tried spraying them. And, you know, they die back, uh, but they come back. And the only surefire way I found to actually rid an area of these things is by cutting them off or ripping them out by the roots. Uh, you know, you're not going to get all the roots, um, but if you if you get the vast majority of it, you get it down to the dirt line. Uh, some of them rip out. Uh, others you'll actually cut off to the dirt line. They don't they don't come back. It seems like they uh, they end up rotten. So that's fine by me. Uh, you know, another tip or trick on getting rid of these things. Uh, so I'm going to continue on.
some of these get really long and gangly and uh, it's easier just to pull them out by hand than it is to cut them off. So if I see them really long, then I'll just yank them out and then go back with the, uh, with the tool here and you know chop the rest of it out. All right guys, well, I've been at it for about two hours now and uh, let's take a look at the progress that we made. I still gotta rake it down but uh, we made it up the hill some. Let's take a look. So we started down here by this banana. We worked our way up this hillside all the way up to there. And then over to about here. And we got all this coming down. So next course of action is to uh, rake this out. Now I know this might not be the most exciting video in the world, but you know it, it's important to understand what it goes what goes into uh, daily chores, homesteading, what it takes. Uh, you know you're, you're not going to make progress overnight uh, unless you got more money than you know what to do with. Uh, for me, you know I think I take a little more pride in doing it myself. Um, from time to time, I do hire some folks to help. Uh, but you know, when it comes to land clearing, I would say, you know, predominantly, I've done most of it. And you know, there's some satisfaction that you find in uh, clearing the property, working hard, seeing the end result of your labor. And uh, I look forward to seeing this whole section cleared. And then I look forward to planting, uh, you know, stuff back in here that I want. And then from there on, it'll just be a maintaining type thing, which can be a chore in itself. Believe me, I've got a lot to maintain right now. But you know, um, going through with a weed eater and you know, cutting some grass is a whole lot different than uh, pulling these uh, dumb cane. So until next time, work hard, play hard, and get out there and seek adventure. See ya. Progress, albeit one foot at a time, one step at a time. We're definitely making progress.